What's up guys, welcome back to Football Manager 2012, 2013, the story of the Blues. And this is the second episode this di uh, today because I felt like doing another one. One of the reasons for that is the last episode, uh, within an hour of actually getting uploaded, it got four likes. And I know that seems minuscule compared to what a lot of YouTubers get. But four likes for an in an hour for me is absolutely mental. Seriously, it is. And and yeah, it it just really does mean a lot to me that that you know, people actually liking the videos. It encourages me to keep on doing them. So I thought, hey, why not do yet another episode uh, in the same day? And in this one, we got a massive match coming up next because it's Bolton in the Capital One Cup. See there it is. Second round, if we can get through to the third round, it would be fantastic, but uh, I'm not really expecting to, because, of course, it is Bolton. Then then we have Hartlepool away in the league, which which could be a, a fairly tough game, because, as I always say, no game is easy. And, I mean, that, that in my opinion is what, you know, footballers and football fans should really um, adhere to. When, you know, playing league matches, say, say like, you know, you're playing a league match and, and you're, you're, um, you're like a supporter of, let's see, um, Fulham, right? You're supporting Fulham. Actually, actually, you know what? Screw that. Screw that. Sure, sure. Never mind that. Say if you're in um, League One, like like this, right? Say if you're a, 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 um, a well, say a Carlisle fan. For it, it's a perfect example. If you get a match at home against Sheffield Sheffield, Sheffield United, because they're a very big team, you know you you will get a lot of fans because everyone wants to come see to come see Sheffield United. And then next week, or the week after that, you'll get a home game against, say, Shrewsbury or Crewe. And the attendance will have gone down by about 2,000. Because because there's no big team playing in the game. You know, I, I, and, and I really wish... And of course, football's performances seem to change when playing against bigger teams as well. They seem to play better against bigger teams. In my opinion, supporters and, and footballers should remember that no matter who you are playing in a game if you're playing in a league game no matter who you're playing you win you get three points if you win against Sheffield United you get three points you win against Crew, you get three points right you don't beat Sheffield United and get more points because they're a bigger team it doesn't work that way and I really wish people would remember that when choosing which games to go to because they just seem to completely ignore the slightly you know, lower, lower profile games, which really does annoy me. <sighs> yeah, it's a, it's a bit annoying sometimes. Oh, the scouting range has been increased. Club swing levels are already too high. I'm just trying to increase things here. Wage budget, maybe. Oh, very nice. Wage budget and number of scouts increased. Great. Um. Seven. How many scouts do we have right now? Six. Wow, what a massive increase that is. We'll get one more scout. I'm so fucking delighted. Alright, scouts, let's see. Go for the regional ones again, don't we? Let's see, where are they? Regional, right here we are. Let's try and find a good one. 13, 13. Yeah, it'll do. £375 a week. Fair enough. And today there has been two matches in the Premier League. Yeah, in the Premier League, and um, Reading played QPR, and they drew one-one. Uh, I know it was uh, Casper's Gorks who scored Reading's goal. I'm not fully sure who scored QPR's. And then in the later kickoff, Liverpool played Newcastle. That was also a 1-1 draw. Luis Suarez, well, sorry, I should say, um, 
Johan Kabay scored for Newcastle. Then Luis Suarez, who else equalised for Liverpool. And both teams finished with 10 men as Fabricio Colaccini was sent off for Newcastle and Stuart Downing was substituted on for Liverpool. <laughs> nah, seriously though, uh, yeah, Colaccini was actually sent off for, for Newcastle in the, in the remaining minutes after kicking uh, Suarez, I believe, and... But yeah, I, I'm not really sure why he got sent off because, you know, footballers are told to try and kick a racing amount of football and they did that and wow, he got sent off. Oh wow, Josh Todd had a good game. He, he had a good game for Gateshead. He, he's getting better, he's getting better. And we're also facing a difficult uh, bolt challenge. I think we may have to start with a counter attacking philosophy here not really sure Balotelli on form as Man City reserves score easy victory <laughs> uh -huh. he's in the reserves fantastic but yeah we are playing Bolton now and Hopefully we we can try and get a win, but obviously as I keep on saying, I'm not expecting anything. Let's see what do we do? Do we do? Do we do? Do we do? Um. It's tough, it really is tough. Um, I think, actually, we will stick with the possession one. Because maybe trying to control the game... Oh, wait, sorry, we should change the possession one. That, that was very close, actually. I right, got to go back to possession. Uh, same. Ba -da -ba -da -da. No, I would rather have Tim Woodkey playing right wing back than Simic in this match. Because we do need someone who can actually play there fully. Noble Barrett. Uh... Well, yeah, I'm fairly happy with that team. Let's just go along with that. And, yes, I really hope Colin doesn't make any more fucking stupid errors. Otherwise, I'm, I'll begin to wish I, did, I actually did sell into Leicester. Anyway, Adam Collin, Peter Murphy, Salah Hidden Spear, David Mailer, Tim Woodkey, Liam Noble, James Barrett, Matty Robson, John Paul McGovern, and Paddy Madden. For Bolton's team, it is very, very strong. You got the go Adam Bogdan in goal, Marcus Alonso, Sam Ricketts, Matt Mills, Tyrone Mears, Martin Petrov, Jay Spearing, Mark Davis, Lee Chung Yong, David and Gog, and Kevin Davis. So yeah, it's a flat 4-4-2 for them. It is a very good, um, very good team. I say, and Gog and Davis up front, very menacing looking. Surprisingly, Davis hasn't actually scored. Uh, the analyst says that it, it will take a shootout to separate them. So apparently, he does rate us very highly. I, I certainly hope we can pull off an upset, but uh, again, I'm not expecting much. Just, just, just a good performance would do in this match. J just make sure we do not embarrass ourselves. Good idea of a ball, but the execution was poor. And that's the highlight for that. Okay, Mike Edwards is having serious problems blending into the squad. Jesus Christ, you're playing in the same league, I, I, you know, and and you're English. What the hell's the problem? Bolton are dominating possession, and we're playing possession as well. Jesus. Oh uh, well, we, we are keeping the ball a little bit more now. Marcus Alonso to Ke Mark Davis, sorry. Kevin Davis, and he scored. Oh wait, he's offside, he's offside, he's offside, he's offside. Good, good. Thank God for that, because he was left with no marker there. So very thankful he was offside. Anyway, we can continue now. I just certainly do hope we don't concede any stupid goals. Kevin Davis has been booked for a bad tackle. That is typical Kevin Davis. 
Oh, God, get it out, please. Mark Davis has got... Oh, what a, what a fantastic save from Colin. Out. Those ball physics, a mental m massive curve. <laughs> but, yeah, very well done from Adam Colin and Peter Murphy. Just to get the ball away. As expected, ball are dominating us. Petrov. Petrov breaks down the way. Colin, get... Oh, Colin, man! For God's sake. What a stupid mistake that was. I think it was Colin. Let's look. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it was Colin. He, he should have caught it. Oh. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. It's it's nothing really more than I expected. But yeah, we have been poor. Uh, let me see. Brad Potts can go in centre defence. Um, Danny Kadamachi can go on the right wing. And I think we will change to counter-attack. Just to maybe push forward a little bit more. And hopefully catch Bolt on the break because they are pushing players forward. Adam caught yes, you can you can definitely tell that. Barrett's been booked for a bad tackle again. Typical James Barrett. Woodkiss or Marcus Alonso, but my Marcus Alonso has been booked. Ah, oh, Tyron Mears as a throw. Woodkey well out. Okay, we have a slight chance here. Let's not let's not fuck it up. Murphy, careful. Okay, well done. Go. What are you doing, Noble? Oh my god, you just kicked it right to him. Oh god. Are you colour blind? Okay, Woodkey, well done. Well done. Just okay, Noble don't fuck well done. Keep going. Don't give the ball away to them, otherwise they will punish you. Kadamatri, brilliant ball, Woodkey, cross it in. Don't shoot from there. Oh, it was a good effort, he hit the post, but he should have put it he should have put it in the box. You can't really expect to score from there, especially as he is a right wing back. He's not a proficient finisher. Get it out to Barrett. Get it to Barrett. Good God. You took, took, you took your time. Barrett. Back to Kadamatri. Danny Kadamatri to Liam Noble. David Mailer. James Barrett. Liam Noble. Are we going to get anywhere? James Barrett shoots, but it's come off spearing, and Woodkey's headed the ball, and it's started start to curve inwards then, but that's it for that highlight, unfortunately. Bit of a shame. We could have had a, we could have maybe had a, had a goal then, if we got a bit lucky. Well... I think we'll have to throw Mark Beck on for Panny Man just to, just to maybe just get someone to hold the ball up and bring more players into the into the play. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Let's see what happens. Colin gets it forward. Brilliant flick on Beck. Matty Robson. Oh, what a poor shot that was. Oh, not not only did he miss, he let Bogdan actually. Keep the ball in his hand. He did. Bogdan didn't have to parry it out. He just caught it, and it's over. Oh wow, Robson. Yeah, you're damn right. That's a sh that was a shocking miss. Oh well. Yeah, again, you can't be too harsh. You never, never expected to win a one nil. It's not, not a bad result, and we were very well. To be fair, we, we certainly matched them. We had more shots, slightly less on target, more, more possession. So yeah, it could have gone either way, but it's it's obviously too late to do anything now, and we were unlucky, but ho hopefully we can just keep our heads up, go into the game against Hartlepool and get a win. Yeah, we're never expected to progress past the second round. I certainly hope Colin picks himself up soon, because if not, I may have to give Mark Gillespie a chance in goal. You fucking... I can't afford to scout any of these. Seriously. Stop linking me with players, I can't even check. God. Let's look at these uh, players from Scotland. Andy Gagan, who's... 
not really an appealing player to me, unfortunately. But yeah, ho hopefully we can just pick ourselves up, as I said, just go go, go into the game against Hartlepool and get a win, and continue our good league form. If we don't, then oof, yeah, you never know, really. <sighs> right, let's see. Uh, Robins defeated. That's Swindon losing. I think. Looks like they might have lost against Tottenham or someone. Cap at one cup. The other games. Let's see what what the results end up on here. Partizan one bit nil. Christ. Blackburn three. Notts Forest. N sorry, sorry. Not Notts Forest. Nottingham Forest. I apologise. Bournemouth 2, Aston Villa 3, Christ, Brighton 3, Dagenham Rampart, uh, Coventry beat Swansea, fucking hell. Boateng scored again! <laughs> um, Huddersfield beat West Ham. Huh. Oh well. I'm not going to say anything, actually. Hartlepool scout report. Yeah. Don't really read those. Anyway, actually, we are top of the league after well three games. I know, but still, it it has been good. Two wins, a draw, unbeaten start. That is always good. And if we're lucky, we will be able to continue this form against shit. Uh, sorry, <laughs> against Hartlepool. Fucking hell! Sorry, I just, sorry, I just keep dropping, dropping shot on the floor here. Hang on. What? Oh, five p. I just noticed five p on the floor. There we go. Right. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> Ooh, uh, it's nice that that's the end of the transfer window. Um, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do there because there is an option to take part in the la in the little you know deadline stages of the transfer window, and I I I'm not sure if I want to do that or not because I don't really think we are going to um, be making any more transfers for now. But maybe, maybe we will. I'll see because it it is a new feature to to take to take part in in the deadline day, you know, fiasco. So I might just show that off for anyone who doesn't. Oh shit! <laughs> there's the, the, there's so much going wrong wrong around me. Okay, I will I will take part. Okay, I'll take part. I'll just I'll just show you guys what 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 all this stuff is about um and and while we while we are in the transfer window um Wrexham have loaned Wrexham okay fair enough y yeah you can have him that's fair enough uh I'll just register place right um If I go to my staff and Graham Kavanagh, I'll try and get him to make a loan report. Can I? Can I? You you, you could usually do this. Apparently, I can't. Okay, whatever. Scouting contracts. No, you cannot do it this time. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you could usually ask him to produce a loan report. I'll tell you what I will do. Scouting. Uh, head scout he is. He, yeah, he's, yeah, he's the chief scout. Report. 141 players listed for loan. Anyone? Uh, transfer status. Listed for loan. Oh. We, we could try and loan anything else. Oh, we won't be interested in joining. Sean Kelt, nah. Robbie Thompson, no, nah, not really. Damn. Paul Compton, does he have any good ones? No, he does not. Okay. Horst Dieter Hotkes, 
He has plenty of reports, trying to notice. This is for Loon. Ah. Matt Derbyshire. Hmm. That would be interesting. I, I, I'll just go through the rest of Mark Yates. Apparently he would have no interest in joining on. Would my Darvish have interest in joining on? Oh, he wouldn't really. Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> he would be interested in a loan deal, but you know he's a striker again. Don't really, really, not really sure if I would do want strikers or not. Uh, Stefan Zuba. Meh. Do have better. Kemar Daly. Wow. That that would be funny. Robin Schrute, Paul Benson, Adam Flint, Joe Partington, Salto Barahino. He's not that good yet. Adam Chickson, yeah, I remember him. Pfft, Christ. Um, Relecture, nah. Oh, there's, there's no one really available that I do fancy getting. I could buy, I could try and loan Derbyshire, but I would probably have to pay his wages, and I don't think he would actually play enough uh, actual games, I enough games to actually warrant the loan. So there's not really much point in me doing it. Your farm has improved recently. Yes, it has. He has, he has been quite solid. <laughs> It does annoy me how your staff t tell you to say things in the press, and and then when you go to say them, you can't actually say them. That is a bit annoying. Of course, he doesn't have a loan to play in the first team. So he's fucking sixteen. He's sixteen. Who do I think we are? Liverpool. He he is not Raheem Sterling. Okay, he's Patrick fucking Bro. I don't. I'm. I'm I, 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 didn't, I honestly didn't know in real life that he was part of our youth squad. I, I, I'm, I'm not really up on, on the youth squad, and, on Carlisle's youth squad, unfortunately. Oh, I'll I, I tell you something else that happened today. Um, the FA Cup draw was on, and Carlisle drew Bournemouth. So, yeah. We might be fucked there. <laughs> oh well, yes, I'm definitely expecting this. Actually, just to try and quickly do something, I'll search. No, I don't want to do that, sorry. Players. No, I don't know. Add condition. Yeah, just, 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 just do that. Rested for loan. Ability, just. Uh, no, there's not really any ones with good current ability. Okay, Adam Birchall. General info. Oscar Threlkeld. He doesn't look very good. Nah, I don't think there's much point in doing this. There is far too many listed for loan to just go through them all. So for now, we'll try and get by with a squad that we do have. I think we should be fine given the start we have made in the league. But again, you never know. Hopefully, we just we just go smoothly. It would be good to um, just continue against Hartlepool. Just get. Just, just basically just get the form back going and then and then go into the game against Crew Alexandra and try and uh, progress to the next round there because that is in the Johnson's Paint Trophy
But anyway, guys, I'd like to say again, thank you very much for liking these videos. You know, it really does help me out. You know, especially mentally, because you know, it, it makes me just remember that people do actually do actually enjoy these videos, which means I should be keeping on making them, and I am. I do try to get as many out as I possibly can, but again, sometimes sometimes I really just run out, you know. I, what I just said then made no sense. I just realised that after I said it. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, yeah. Um, I was going to say, but yeah. I do try to get as many out as I possibly can, but sometimes I just don't have the time, so if I don't put any videos out on any particular day then I do apologize very often Saturdays I am busy unfortunately so don't really expect many videos up on Saturday unless it's in the evening I might have might get time to do it in the evening but that's pretty much it um, most of the days oh, I've got the phones ringing but I'm not going to answer it because no one else is in uh, yeah, pretty much every other day though. Yeah, there will definitely be videos. Because I don't because I don't really have much to do on any other days. And this processing is actually taking the piss now. Can I browse? No, it's just not responding. Okay. The screen has turned white for me. Oh there we go, it's fine. Chris de Walumo. <laughs> Larry Jeffrey. Wow, my speaker just had a spaz. Okay, anyway. Mikhail Nelson. Ooh. This guy looks good. He can play right back, he can play wing back as well. Ah, this this guy looks appealing. See if we can make a very late signing. Can we? Do we have enough on the wage budget? Yes, we do. Aha. Uh -huh. Hopefully, we will be bringing in a new centre back. Yeah, there we go. We have a new centre back slash right wing back. That's just to bolster up the defence a little bit. That will help a lot. It might it might mean bad things for some of the defenders already here. I think I think Brad Potts might might suffer from this, but still, you know, it's an extra player, and and, and that is obviously obviously one of the most most important things. You know, the the more players that are in are in your squad, the better depth you have, and as long as they are good players, then that's that's all that counts really. Also learn Fornasia. I can swear they done. I swear they did that in real life. I'm not. I'm not really sure though. I'm. I'm not. I'm actually gonna lie here. This processing is actually taking so long. I'm actually sitting here just just trying to figure out this this puzzle that I have, like literally in my hand. <laughs> right, squad registration. Obviously, better register him for the competition. There we are. Oh God. You can play the side of Mikkelsen Nicholson from Team Two Short. Obviously, another FM bug in the name there. I'm delighted to finalise the deal. Brilliant. Actually, I'm gonna try and browse again quickly, quickly. I just want, I just want to check those, th those two players. Oh, fuck, fuck off, FM. <laughs> oh Christ, fireworks going off all, all, all the, um, all the time outside. Bit distracting at times, but meh.
There we are. It's, oh no, it's not. It's, sorry, it's still not responding. Still not responding. Wow. Apparently, transfer windows in this game love to run slowly. This is hella frustrating, I have to say. But oh well. There we go. Transfer. Yeah. Transfer uh, window is finally closed, and the windows are becoming a bit unresponsive now. For God's sake, hurry up! Right there we are. Registration window. Yes, again, just auto select, just just to make absolute sure. been concerns over the progress of Tony Keg. Well, well, uh, of course his fitness is going to really decline. He's he's a 38 year old goalkeeper. Okay, but anyway, wow, won the Manager of the Month award. Great. Uh, Michael Appleton and Danny Wilson. Michael Appleton actually got second despite his team being third. Wow. Right, uh, let's get on to the... <laughs> fucking hell. Tired. Right. Screw you, fireworks! Right, anyway. I think I think we will carry on with the possession game against Hartlepool. And Lee Miller is going to play up front in this game by the looks of things. Because he has returned to 91% fitness. Uh Tell you what we'll do. I will play Mark Gillespie in goals for this game because I th I think he deserves the chance. I mean, Colin has has been playing poorly, so I'd say he does he does deserve to go in net. Does Mark Gillespie? Now, now even though Gillespie is only what twenty, I think twenty twenty one, so should be an interesting experience for him. Oh, yep, Michael Nelson. Nelson is obviously uh on the bench for this game. Which which I which I think it is probably the best idea. Because considering he is, you know new to the team and everything I would I wouldn't really want to um rush him into anything. Because he only joined yesterday. The analyst thinks we will come out victorious, so let's let's start the match. And hopefully oh Hartlepool have just smacked the ball upfield out for a Carlo goal kick in the first minute of, in the first ten seconds of the game. That's great. And the and the line and the referees have pink outfits. That's brilliant. Barry have gone one up against Bournemouth, that's surprising. Uh shit, Hartlepool of a corner. Whipped in. Oh my god, they've scored. Luke James has scored for Hartlepool. Oh my god, that That was shocking defending. What the hell happened there? Just it just it just came off the play and Luke James just smashed it in. Gillespie probably should have saved that. God, that is annoying. Look, the, the the feedback even says that we are dominating all parts of the game, and it is sh and it is unthinkable that we are actually losing. David Mailer, terrible ball, David Mailer. Oh my God, he's giving it right to them. Paul Murray, Anthony Sweeney, Poole. Paul Murray strikes it. Good save from Gillespie. Monkhouse, oops, it in. James has scored again. Oh my god. What the hell is this? 
This this is an absolutely abject performance. Spear, please just try and get a goal quickly as possible so we have a chance to get back into this game. McGovern, Miller, great goal. Come on, lads. Get get the ball and bring it back. Or just let the keeper do it, you slow cunts. Noble gives it to McGovern. McGovern, McGovern just slides it into Miller, and Miller just hammers it home past Scott Flinders in the Hartlepool goal. <sighs> Still 2 1 down, though, so it's hard to get really happy about this. Frank Simic is, av is having an absolute shocker now. Uh, so I think Tim Woodkey is going to have to come on. Oh, okay, Mikhail Nelson will come on. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, I didn't mean Nelson because I, I I'm just too used to having Woodkey on the bench and not you know, Nelson himself. I think Chantling come on for Spear and we're gonna go attacking because we really need a goal. So let's try and get a goal here against Hartlepool and just get ourselves back into this match because we really need to. And it's already quite sloppy play here. It's and Mail is just clattered into pull. And the highlight stopped already, okay. Look, it's it's again statistically we're doing fine, but uh, we just we just can't score. Miller gets it back to Nelson. Plays it inside to Mailer. Inside against the noble. Farewell! Throw on goal! Scores! Put farewell! Paul Thoreau makes his annual run in, into the opposition box and scores a goal. Fantastic uh, fantastic uh, football there. Mail it to Nobles to Thurwell. Great, 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 great football. Um, Walsall have gone 3-0 up against Coventry. What the fuck's that all about? Barry 4-1 up against Portsmouth. MK Dons 4-0 up against Preston. Jesus Christ, some mental results today. I'm very happy that we are back into this game, but I, I, I would much prefer that we do try and get another goal, play it through to Noble. Can Noble finish? He has! What a comeback from Carlisle United! Wow! The comeback is actually complete. We were 2-0 down, and now Liam Noble has scored in the 69th, <laughs> 69th, 69th minute of the game to make it 3-2 to Carlisle United. What a what a finish that is from Noble and what a comeback from the team really happy about that but um, I think I think what we are going to do is um, bring James Barrett on for Paul Thurwell just to get a f bit fresh legs in midfield and I think we should now be looking to switch to the counter attacking formation just to try and hold the lead. There we go. And Hartlepool do have a free kick now. Murphy uh, gets it out. Fantastic chance for a counter attack. This, this is exactly what was needed. Milik, poor ball, and now Hartlepool can go out. Oh wow, what a ruined opportunity that is. Franks breaks down the wing. Gillespie take that very well done. Good God, that was that was that was scary. God, I really I really don't want that to happen again. Cause Miller really fucked that one up. Oh what? A, oh, I thought that was gonna go all the way through to Robson, Murphy to Robson. I think Miller might be offside. He's not. Miller takes it out wide. Very well held up. Great ball to Chandler. Fantastic pass. Back back to Miller and great save by Scott Flinders to keep it out. I think if that had gone in it would have been curtains for Hartlepool. Barrett gets it in. Miller can't get to it. Matty Robson. Peter Murphy. Brad Potts. The defence is quite high up right now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. McGovern deal with it. Luke James is thrown goal. Oh he's fucked it up. What's he done? Wow. Luke James. I was fully expecting an equaliser there. I'm very surprised that th that that didn't actually end up in a goal. And Miller's done brilliantly there again. Matty Robson plays it to Miller, has to score, and he does. Fantastic finish. 
We might get a little. We might got a little bit lucky. That's his hundredth career league goal. Really good play again. Matt Noble to Robson. Great little through ball. Miller runs behind the defence and slots it in with his weaker foot. And what a very, very, very good comeback this has been. 2-0 down to 4-2 up. And Hartlepool have a highlight immediately. Flinders playing dangerously there. Uh, hopefully that goes out for a goal kick. It will do. Hartlepool fans are heading for the exits already. They really have had enough of this. Hartlepool are, p are pushing players forward apparently. Well that is exactly why we went to a counter attacking formation. Just to break away quickly and get in behind the defence and that has worked. As we have scored a go another goal. And we just need to keep the ball now. I really don't think they will come back. M Miller gets tackled by Austin. Murray, Collins, Hartley, Paul Murray, Peter Hartley. It's out for a goal kick and it's over. Hartlepool 2, Carlisle United 4. Very good performance in the end. It was a very, very, very uh, abject performance to start off with. But in the in the second half we were fantastic we were way better than they, they were even in the first half in the first half statistically we were actually a lot better than than, than Hartlepool but they, they just took their chances and we didn't so we were leaky to start off with but we had we did we did bring it back to to get a really really good performance uh, Luke James did score two goals. A very good performance from him, but also Miller scored two goals. Um, I have to say, what a great comeback that is from Lee Miller, because you know he was obviously injured at the start of the game, and he's just come back. Uh, yeah, it is. He just come back, and of course he he put in a very, very, very solid performance. He contributed to most of the goals. And that is always always helpful, quite obviously. I must go through the backroom advice here. But yeah, it was indeed a very good performance. And I think that just about now. Actually, we actually can we even no look. I just gonna to talk to the board, see if maybe we can ex extend the scouting range, please. No, okay. Try and get something else out with it, maybe. Finance transfer budget. Oh, as as always, the, the damn board are being dickheads as they always have been with Carlisle. Uh, feeder club. Maybe we get feeder club. No, okay, fair enough. Okay, guys. Uh, I'd say basically. Um, thanks, thanks a whole lot for watching. If you have enjoyed, then please leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, anything you like. Uh, it really does help me out, and encourages me to put more videos up um, a day. You know, put it encourages me. To, uh, encourages me to put more videos up more regularly. And and also again, I I do stress that that I will take requests to play other games other than Football Manager. So if you do have any games that you would like to see me play, then please just comment or or anything uh, w with the suggestion, and I will take it into account. And and please uh, stay tuned f f for the next um, for the next episodes, where we uh, where we where we will play, we will play. Yeah, Crew Alexandra in the Johnson's Paint Trophy, f Northern Section first round, and then Shrewsbury in the N Power League One. All right, guys. Uh, thanks uh, again. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see you next episode, guys. Um, have a nice day. Cheers. Bye.